This is the sound of time passing. Over centuries, clocks tell the history of men's pursuit to measure time. Today, mechanical clocks are almost out of the picture, but not at Carl's clocks, and not for a man named Carl Kasha. Carl's clock sits on the corner of Burnett and Nichols Avenue in Syracuse, and from the outside, you probably can't tell that this is in fact the home of the biggest collection of clocks in central New York. People come in here with, with these sow's ears and I, I turn it into a silk purse and uh, people are delighted because uh, uh, a lot of times it's something that's been in their family that, that uh, they want to keep in their family. It started out as a hobby, but when Carl lost his job as an electrical engineer at GE 23 years ago, his clock shop became his career. Normally a slow day for me is about 25 calls. A busy day is 50 to 100 calls. Carl sells and repairs all kinds of timepieces, from grandfather clocks and wall clocks to mantle clocks and cuckoo clocks. It makes me feel good that there's still people out there that have an appreciation of, of fine, you know, things that are, that are steeped in tradition. And Carl himself sure is one of them. I don't have any favorites. That's how I got into this business. I, I bought them all so I can enjoy them every day. It's actually soothing to have a mechanical clock in your home because it's like an old friend and they said once you get used to it you really don't notice it until it's not there because it becomes part of the, the normal sound of your home. And to make sure that doesn't happen, most mechanical clocks need to be wound every week. Three winding holes tells you the clock is a chiming clock and uh, two winding holes tells you it's a striking clock, and one winding hole tells you it's just a, a timekeeper, and no winding holes tell you it's a battery clock. But as wind-up clocks get replaced by digital ones, Carl's work is almost like a lost art. I think I'm the only one left that does it professionally. It's sad that, that um, uh, people don't own more clocks. I think if people did, they would, they would say, gee, how did I ever live without this? Clock lovers certainly appreciate the work he does. They say there's something about these old-fashioned clocks that's simply irreplaceable. The digital clock has no character. It has no sounds, no anything. I mean, you just watch it and the time just rolls. With an older clock, you hear it. You see it move. It's just neat to think. I have this clock that was there a hundred years ago, and you, you start thinking about what was it like back then, and it's a tradition. You know, I don't think tradition means much anymore. But tradition will tick on for Carl. Hey, it works. Who continues to give new life to old treasures. Li Huan Wang, NCC News.